For anybody watching the VOD who might be stepping in just now, I am Soulmass218. I primarily speedrun games that are atmospheric or artsy, with lots of movement and physics. That's kind of my niche. I also speedrun walking simulators. Yes, you can speedrun walking simulators. Anyway, it's Friday, which means I'm going to be doing a game which would typically be in my backlog, but is actually a brand new release today. I've been waiting for it for so long, and I've had such a terrible week that I need to have a lot of serotonin. So I, I picked up the brand new release of Read Only Memories and Neurodiver, the uh, pseudo sequel to 2064 Read Only Memories. 2064 Read Only Memories was a virtual novel style game in the style of uh, 80s and 90s virtual novels from Japan. Like on the Famicom, or like like pre Famicom, like the actual like family like computer systems and stuff in Japan. Um, but this particular sequel seems to be more influenced by uh, like Snatcher and Police Knots. Uh, but still with all of that old visual novel stuff going on. So I'm real excited. It's a cyberpunk universe. Uh, to quickly explain it before I get the game going, uh, 2064 dealt with the, well, it, it was a murder mystery game in which you were a journalist who was brought along on a investigation unwillingly by a, the world's first AI whose creator had just been murdered. And um, you go on a quest to figure out why the creator of the world's first AI was murdered, as well as uh, kind of a, a, a buddy type thing with the AI as it tries to understand itself, the world, why it was created, what it means to be an AI amongst humans. Uh, it deals with themes of AI and transhumanism. Um, the transhumanism bit becomes a very large part of it, and I believe will be more of a part of this game. Uh, so let's see. We'll, we'll dig right in. Detroit become 2064. In some ways, yes. I'm sure we will see uh, the AI Turing, was his name. I'm sure they'll show up in this game at some point. Okay, volume should be good. Let me know if I need to turn the volume up on the game. Once I get into it, just gonna make sure settings are fine. English, we're good. Jump right in, shall we? Nervous Campus, El Nuevo, Cerrito, California, number 26, 2068. So, four years after the events of 2064. Um, I will say, as you can see with the pointer on the screen, a lot of it's going to be like point and click adventure type stuff. The Minerva Commons. Okay. So, we've got an inventory and quest log. I got nothing in my inventory. Nothing so far in the quest log. And that's just the regular. Okay. Ooh, a manual. This is the Neurodiver's user manual. ES88 seems to be uh, our main character. Meet ES88. Curious if ES88 is an AI. I I'm assuming so. Putting it lightly, though, since a lot of it is works in theory. But I need to memorize, well, basically all of it to prepare for my Neural Diver certification exam tomorrow. I've already used the Neural Diver in a handful of controlled tests with other espers. But I won't have authorization for any real world use until I get this exam out of the way. Espers, you say? So. Gotta power through this. Blorp. <laughs> this must this is our neurodiver here in the tank, I suppose. Yep. That's 
the NeuroDiver. Most people expect a computer, but they're a fully organic life form. Warp. I mean, it is kind of strange, but we'll say they're cute. And they're very cute. <laughs> Uh, this already got the vibes. I love that 2064 so much. This is awesome so far. And easily flattered. And easily flattered. Blorp. What else we got in here? There's a couple screens. I'm gonna do some hovering. Just so I okay. There's a door. I'd love to watch some TV right now. But I need to focus on memorizing this manual. She gonna say it to all the screens? I'd love to watch some TV right- Okay, let's go to the manual. Ugh, I hate reading. Fair. I guess highly classified documentation for cutting-edge experimental biotech isn't usually turned into an audiobook. The Neurodiver. Yep, that's you. The Neurodiver is an artificially created life form imbued with psychic abilities similar to those of human aspers. In Asper! <laughs> yes, that's me. In Asper can create a psychic link between any intelligent life form, the host, via the Neurodiver to enhance their ability to read the memories of the host. Right, Brett? That's, that's really a, a large part of the appeal of 2064 in, in this game, is that that 80s and 90s anime aesthetic and the cyberpunk style. It's, it's very nice. <sighs> Just resting my eyes. <laughs> I'll keep reading in a second. Yeah, it has been a long time. This game was meant to be released years ago, and it's kept getting delayed and delayed. It's been a long wait. Very excited it's finally out. Okay, gotta stay focused. The Neurodiver also allows for the defragmentation of the host's memories. Should any fragmentation exist via any of the following means. Neurological disease, such as Alzheimer's disease, see Appendix 14 for examples, Physical trauma, such as concussion, see Appendix 15, for examples. Okay, so Psychological they... trauma, and blah, 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 blah. So they've used this, these neurodivers to, to cure a lot of uh, mental brain injuries and diseases. That's cool. The neurodiver also shows promise in reversing psychic trauma, as inflicted by Esper Psionics. Oh, great. We've got psychics in this game. Due to the wide variety and mutability of Esper's psionic powers, there's only anecdotal evidence at this time. Uh. <laughs> hey, PS88. Hello, Gate. I don't know who you are, but hello. Gate! Sorry to make you come in over the weekend. Wherever the Neurodiver is, I go. That's my job as its guard. Okay. Well, I appreciate it. And the Neurodiver does too. This guy back here I have an inkling is um, a lion character who used to hang out in the bar in 2064. We'll find out though. I did fine on the field test the other day. Is it Hamon's dress from Double Zeta? I mean, I don't know, but it definitely, uh, it's a, it's a great dress. I, I enjoy it. I think it takes a little more inspiration from Blade Runner, to be honest. But trying to cram all of these facts into my head for the written exam is making my head hurt. Go get it. You just need to focus on why you're doing this in the first place. Why am I doing this? I sort of have to do it, Gabe. It's my job. ESC-88 has some mom's hair, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's a reason you're here at Minerva. And a reason you want to become a better Esper by using the Neurodiver. Why I want to 
want to become a better Esper? Why do I want to become a better Esper? Mm. <laughs> For great justice. I just want to help people. To help people. With the Neurodiver, we can help people recover memories they lost. Memories of important events or loved ones. It's kind of idealistic. But I hope, with the Neurodiver, I can help someone better remember someone or something dear to them. Oh, some kind of psychic therapist, then. I guess you can call it that, sure. Well, no matter what you call it, you're doing it to help others. That seems like the right reason to me. Uh, thanks, Skate. Anytime, yes, 88. Actually, while you have the neural diver out, I was wondering if you could do a favor for a friend. Friend? He's a furry? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm curious why ESC date wouldn't be aware of um, modified humans. Maybe ES88 hasn't been in the outside world? Because they're quite common in this universe. And they're still fighting for their rights. Or maybe they have rights in this in four years later, I don't know. This is Crow. <laughs> wow. A real bona fide Esper. I thought you guys were just uh, some kind of conspiracy theory. Okay, I don't believe this is the same character who hangs out in the bar in the last game, but this he is a big lion dude. <laughs> uh, hi. Sorry, I've never seen an Esper up close before. I heard you all had golden eyes, but... I guess they're a dead giveaway. I don't like how I know you're a hybrid just by looking at you. His ear twitch, though. <laughs> Touche. Crow, this is ES88, our resident psychic therapist and neurodiver expert. Wait, what? She'll be diving into your memory to help you recover what you've forgotten. Yeah, that's some great intro gate. That's, uh, that's some intro, Gate. I wouldn't say it if it wasn't true. ES-88 is the best neurodiver user in Minerva, which is to say, the world. And she was just saying how she hopes to use the neurodiver to help people remember what they've lost. Ooh, some clapback. <laughs> this is more of a problem with something I found, but I can't remember why I had it. I can't remember why he has it. Oh, hear that, ES-88? A psychic mystery. A <laughs> psychic mystery. Can I just, um, Gate, can we talk for one sec? Privately. Sure. One sec, Crow. Take your time. Gate, who is this guy? Just an old buddy of mine from the war. You mean the war during which you were a soulless machine programmed to kill? Hey, just because I was a literal killing machine doesn't mean I didn't make friends. Well, whatever. If I mess this up, I could really do some damage to your friend's psyche. Relax. Crow is tough as nails. Oh, uh, to explain something about this, um... Prior to the events of 2064, all of the machines didn't have conscious like AI consciousness they weren't sentient AI they were just uh, all servants so they were just used basically as slaves and just you know machines um, but at the end of 2064 sorry spoilers but it is a 10 year old game uh, t at the end of the game you uh, you decide to release the AI program into like the world's internet basically and which downloads into all of the machines and all of the machines gain AI sentience at the same time. So uh, all of the machines are now uh, sentient. 
And this one used to be a soldier. Some of the stuff he pulled off in the war, it would be legendary if it wasn't all completely top secret. Look at him! He's built to withstand anything. <laughs> Physical power is one thing. We're talking about his mind here. But Relax. He already knows the risks, and he's fine with that. Right, Crow? That's true. Gate already gave me the rundown. I'm up for it, really. <laughs> I'm not capable enough? No, 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 there's no way. Yes, it is 10 years old already, Zell. It really is. And, and telling you about what happens at the end doesn't spoil the game, trust me. I, I highly recommend that anybody who hasn't played 2064, play it. It is fantastic. I did not spoil it at all by telling you how it ended. Okay. But there are risks for us, too. I'm not technically supposed to use this on anyone until I pass that exam. If someone finds out, we're both in big trouble. No one's going to find out. We're the only ones here. Exactly, Brett. You can kind of see the end coming very early in that game. There's so much more going on in that game. That's why I say that's not really a spoiler. That the game itself has a lot of other stuff going on. And besides. I'll be here watching over you both during the dive in case anything goes wrong. If anything starts looking weird, I can pull you both out with the press of a button. Warp? Look at that. The neurodiver's raring to go, too. Okay. Okay. I can do this. That's right. So, we can get started? Yes. First things first, tell me what memory specifically you're hoping to recover. Sure. It's uh, actually something that happened about ten years ago, just after the war ended. Since our tenure as soldiers was over, some friends of mine and I were doing some odd jobs to get some quick cash here and there. Our last job was selling some information to a buyer in Busan. The details are really fuzzy, but uh, I do remember that for some reason, I decided to give my share of the payout to my friends. Hmm, okay. But then they claimed that I had stolen all of it for myself. Oh, really? I'll admit that isn't out of character for me, but I wouldn't do that to those guys. And on top of that, I didn't have any trace of any kind of money like that. Anywhere. Not in any of my accounts. So you think they took all of it for themselves and tried to cut you out? The space gate is making it just like, what? <laughs> That's what I assumed, yeah. It ended up being a real sore spot between us all. And we actually haven't spoken since. For... for ten years? What made you question it now? Well, I was cleaning out my closet and found the jacket I was wearing that night. So you remember the clothes you were wearing, but not any details of what happened? Weird, right? But it gets weirder. I found this in one of the pockets. Um, what is this? It looks like a cat toy, yes. It Let's say it's like a, a shuttlecock. A shuttlecock. Uh, what? Uh, you know, like for Batman. Yes. Badminton? No. Oh. Anyway, take a look at this. The information I was selling? This is it on this chip here. But I remember clearly trading this thing to the buyer for the money. And giving that money, all of it, to my friends. Okay, so who messed with this guy's memory? What do you think, Psychic Therapist ES88? You think you can help Crow work through his broken friendships? That does sound like a fragmented memory. If you're ready, Crow, we can start the dive. Sure. What do I have to do? First, lift up your sleeve so the Neurodiver can have some skin contact with your arm. Oh, beautiful. Then, stay still and try to relax. 
try to relax, yes. While this squid creature latches onto your arm. Okay. All right. Let's get the neurodiver out of its capsule. Once it makes contact, you're going to feel something... I guess these are like anime title cards, like bumper cards. I like it. <laughs> Don't forget your catchphrase, ES88. My what? You know, that cool catchphrase you say whenever you start a dive. Oh, um You get to pick a catchphrase? Okay, it's the way I sound, okay. Do I want to sound cool? Do I want to sound confident? Or do I want to sound commanding? I don't know. So far I played her as like this uh, very good-hearted ditz ditzy character that she comes off as. She doesn't come off as commanding to me. But I think I was trying to sound cool. It's probably going to fail. Perfect. What? What does that even mean? I don't know. I panicked. Sorry. Anyway, starting dive. I agree, Zell. It, but it's so much anime is net anime and streaming now that it's like there's no reason to have them. Because they don't air on TV as much anymore. I guess these are Crow's friends. The Sparrow, Owl, and Hawk. I'm pretty sure it's nighttime, but you can barely tell with all the lights on outside. Okay, so it's nighttime. Last time I played darts, I put more holes in the surrounding wall than the dartboard. <laughs> Okay, so she's definitely a ditz. I, I, I picked that out right. Photos of various celebrities pushing various brands of alcohol. Okay, so we're in a bar. Yes, clearly. I could go for a drink. Can't tell what the drinks are. Okay. Oh, plant. For being in such a dark place, that plant looks like it's growing quite well. Yes, he is extremely gender. I agree. Uh, th these games in gender in general are very gender. All right, let's talk to Sparrow first. Uh, hey guys. Oh, look at Young Crow! Oh my God. Speaking of gender. Wait, Crow? Crow? What? They don't recognize you. This was the first night they saw me after I became a hybrid. Finally cashed in some earnings from the war. Hmm, gotcha. Got it. You certainly made a... a big change. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Hulk? Angry that the run is finally your size? Is this Carl Weathers? <laughs> I just think he looks like, uh... Like what? He looks like... He looks like a... He looks kind of like a freak, if you gotta know. <laughs> exactly. He had big Carl Weathers vibes immediately. Okay, we've got Hawk, who is clearly, um... A racist, or not really racist, but anti-hybrid. This is a thing in this universe. What? I look better than you, asshole. As expected. Hey, 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 no backseat driving! Uh, uh, diving. I'll do the talking for you based on what was going through your mind at the time. 
So you're piloting my body through this whole thing. That's right. Just sit back and relax while I read your memories. Uh, 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 see the text moving? Read your memories? Uh -huh. Almost called out the title, didn't you? I look better than you do. That's right. Tell this asshole off. I look better than you, asshole. That's right. Why, you little... What? <laughs> that did feel kind of good to say. <laughs> <laughs> right. It is good to see you. Really. That's what you meant, right, Hawk? Yeah. Yeah. What are we drinking? Okay. What are we drinking? Hey. Now the kids here, we can order the special, right? What's the special? Oh, 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 right, right, right. Hey. Take a look at this, crow. It says New Year's special. Celebrate unification with the Manseju cocktail. Uh what's man say? I think it's pronounced more like manse. That's what I say. Man say. <laughs> sure. Anyway, it means Oh, you know. Bonsai. Salut. Bonsai! Life. We did just get out of a war, you know. Folks feel like celebrating. Did you call me to read that poster? Did you call me here just to read a poster for you? <laughs> I wouldn't put it past these guys. Hey, you're lucky we invited you out at all. Whoa, whoa. That's enough, Hulk. Um, go ahead and order a round of those, um, Monse Juice Crow. Then we can get to business, all right? I got the New Year's special flyer. And that must have been the autosave. Okay, let's just go back. Or it's gonna let me talk to them again. Less talking, more drinking. Come on, get us drinks. That's, that's what I mean. <laughs> it's big Beavis energy. Uh. Go ahead and order a round of those, then we can get to business. This place has great drinks. Trust me. All right. Nothing out of the ordinary so far. I guess I should go order those drinks. This guy's like playing hacky sack. What are they kicking around? Oh! It's the same shuttlecock thing that Crow brought to Minerva. Mmm, okay. You want in on this? Uh, sorry? Come on, I'll play you for a round of drinks. Okay, what do I do? It's Jeggy Choggy. When I kick the Jeggy to you, kick it back without letting it drop. The Jeggy? This thing. You really never played Jeggy Choggy before, huh? Oh, so that's what it's called. What? Right. How could I have forgotten that? This whole memory's pretty rough. There's some kind of ambient psychic signature that I can't put my finger on. Uh, what? Don't worry. Once I fix all of the fragments with the Neurodiver, you'll remember this night like it was yesterday. Seems like I just scored a free drink then. Okay, let's play. All right. Um, I could let them win or show off and win. They'll score me a round of drinks if I show off and win. I don't have to pay for them. I think I'll let them win. You let it hit the ground. I guess that's your win then. I can't help feeling like you went a little easy on me, though. <laughs> Maybe a little. Either way, drinks are on me. That's right. Let's head to the bar. Oh! <sighs> Mom! The meatloaf! Where's our drinks, Crow? We're dying over here. Hulk, we're not 
supposed to be making a scene. Okay, but where are our drinks? Crow! So you're already here with some friends, huh? Eh, don't worry about those guys. They just like to complain. They look pretty thirsty. Uh, that's one way to put it, I guess. It's no problem, really. I was actually on my way out before I saw you. So true, Brett. Why don't you take this jeggy as a souvenir? Oh, he's giving me his number? Is this your phone number? <laughs> Why don't you try it later and find out? Don't go easy on me next time, okay? Wow, Crow is way smoother with random bar encounters than I could ever hope to be. Got the jeggy. All right. Tiger poster. Tiger. Tiger. Birdie. Oh, huh. I guess 2058 was the year of the tiger. <laughs> They're so cute and chubby. Kind of weird looking face, though. Where's the nose? This smug little tiger is pushing a New Year's drink special. Hmm. It's unclear if the tiger will join you for the drink special, though. What a cute sign! The whole setup feels kinda retro. Hmm. I can't tell if the O in Pop is supposed to be a mustached man with a hat or a duck. True. I can't tell. <laughs> a duck with a hat? Eh, I'll go with that. Muncie! They have all kinds of specialty cocktails here. Soju and yogurt? Is that actually good? Duck for you? I'm gonna go with like dude, because it's like it says pop, so maybe like pop as in like you know, mom and pop? Or I don't know. Let's see what kind of liquor they have here. Oh, who am I kidding? I don't know anything about liquor. It all looks really fancy, though. I bet all the cheap liquor is hidden in there. Wow, look at that amazing music selection. It's what I assume. I know as much about music as I do about booze. Okay, so we're confirming that she really does know nothing about the outside world. I wonder if she was, like, created, like, this year. <laughs> She's brand new uh, AI robot and has just only been in this neurodiver place this whole time. Ooh, that's a pretty impressive sound system. It's what I assume. I know as much about music as I do about booze. What are they doing using such an old computer? Oh, right. This was 10 years ago. Oh, a memory fragment, just like in the manual. What? Why do I remember a giant baby working at the bar? That is true, Brett. Why do I remember a giant baby? Yes. Well, when a fragment occurs, your brain tries its best to make a complete memory by filling the void with something else. There's not a lot of rhyme or reason to what goes where, but usually it'll be something that was emotionally striking. Emotionally striking. Your memories depend on emotional connections to stay in your head. The stronger the connection, the stronger the memory fragment. I guess you have a soft spot for cute little babies. <sighs> anyway, repairing these issues is exactly what the Neurodiver does best. We'll get to it then. Repair mode. Okay. My first 
first real repaired fragment. Ah, yes, the three genders robot, baby, and lion. Correct. What? How do you feel, Crow? Any numbness? Nausea? Do you smell bird toast? <laughs> uh, no. I'm good. Four of these Monseju cocktails. Mm. Please? Uh-uh. You have to order it correctly. With spirit. Spirit? Really? Monse! 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 You're saying I gotta throw my arms over my head to get my drinks. Yes. We're celebrating, kid. Get in the spirit of things. Monse! Monse! Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Monse! <laughs> Keep going. Excuse me? Uh-uh. You wanted four drinks, right? Monse! Monse? Monse! Monse! <laughs> I told you he'd get him to do it. What? They put you up to all that, didn't they? They're always doing stupid pranks like this. <laughs> Ugh, we got a guy in the psionics lab like that. It's the worst. Here's your drinks. They're already on the old guy's tab. <laughs> Which old guy? Monse! Monse! A hallway that leads into a restroom and staff area. Uh, kind of an awkward spot, isn't it? The thrill of dodging darts when leaving the restroom. I mean, I've been to bars like that before. <laughs> Give our drink to uh, Carl Weathers first. Now, this one's for you. <laughs> thanks, Crow. <laughs> and, um, thanks for the, um, you know, entertainment. At least it's not axe throwing. True. Rectangular shaped dive bars, yes. Give a drink to Sparrow. We're gonna leave Hawk for last, because what an asshole, right? Here you go, Sparrow. Thanks, Crow. You certainly were enthusiastic out there. Here, Hawk. <laughs> Thanks, kid. Glad to see you could still take a joke. Cheers, I guess. Cheers! 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 Are you looking forward to getting back to America, Crow? I think I'll miss it here. I don't miss the war for sure, but I was getting used to the place. Same here. It's been a nice change of scenery, despite everything. <laughs> you two have always been so sentimental. Hey, this is where we all met, after all. Even if it was... Monse! Monse! <laughs> Someone else ordered the special, sounds like. Whoa! I think I just felt something shift in the memory. Oh, hey, that's a... Uh... Oh, shut it. Monse! Do you know the guy who just ordered or something? That's the guy we're making the deal with. Well, excuse me if I didn't want y'all missing him. Hulk, what did I just say? So, what's the plan? He's buying information. Um... Damn. Which one of us is holding that chip? Monse emote. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, here. It's, uh, uh, what is this thing again, Hulk? It's a jeggy. You're asking me? It's a jeggy, right? Oh, 
How did you know, Crow? I, uh, someone by the darts area gave me one. Interesting. Well, this one's a little different. Pharaoh had the idea to hide the information chip in here, to keep the handoff from looking too conspicuous. Sure, you're making it conspicuous by opening it. Oh, right. <laughs> so that's it. Give this Jeggy to that guy who just walked in. Yep, and he's gonna give us a big pile of money. Simple a deal as they come. Looks like he's taking a seat up by the darts. Yep, you got this, Crow. I've got this? You're probably the only one in the right um, state of mind to pull this off right now. State of mind? Really? I mean, uh, we've had a few rounds before you came here, Crow. And besides, with your new modifications, you're easily the most intimidating of the four of us now. Fair. Hey, 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 hey! What's that supposed to mean? I'm just as intimidating as Crow. Way more! <laughs> even if you were, you're not even half as sober. Here, Crow. We'll head out once you sit down with the buyer. We'll meet you later at the usual rendezvous spot. Hey, I hope Hawk hasn't given you any grief about hybridizing. No, why would he? He was a little weird about it when I did it. But maybe now he realizes it's to all of our advantages for us to be at our best. Wait, you're a hybrid too? I, I had no idea. Octopus DNA. It allows me to cloak at will. That's pretty cool. But I never saw you... Hmm, I guess that's a point. <laughs> that's right. Why would Hawk have a problem with it? Oh, you know. He and Owl. They're so old school. They think everything has to be the result of hard work. And that just splicing in some animal DNA doesn't count for that. But of course, once they started benefiting from my enhanced abilities, they warmed up to the idea. Anyway, what I wanted to say was, don't for a second, ever, let anyone make you doubt yourself. You hybridized because you wanted to, and you earned it. It's okay to be proud of how you look. Damn right. Thanks, Sparrow. You know, Crow, uh, sometimes I feel like I'm getting too old for this. Okay, come on. This, when are they going to stop dropping the, the Carl Weather stuff? <laughs> it's so obvious now. <laughs> too old for these high risk, high reward odd jobs that exist in a legal gray area? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, no, no. Too old to be drinking so much alcohol. But Sparrow's always finding these great little tucked away watering holes. And I just want to try everything. Oh, <laughs> give me a break. They all sell the same overpriced, gimmicky shit. That voice actor's giving his best Keith David impression, too, and I appreciate it. <laughs> And now it stands, as I've watched you down at least four overpriced gimmicky shits in the past couple of hours. Yeah, well, I wasn't complaining, exactly. Hey, uh, when I called you a freak before, <laughs> I mean, you, you do look like a freak, you know, with, with all that purple hair, fur, and shit. But I, I didn't mean to say it. You know, to, to your face. That doesn't make it any better, Hawk. Thanks. Well, I guess I appreciate your honesty. It's, uh, better than you hiding your feelings, I mean. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Just, just being honest. And I, uh, I, I appreciate your honesty. About, about me, being, being honest. Okay, at least he seems to feel bad about it. You're still an asshole. 
What are you trying to say, Hawk? You know... Exactly like the apology scene in Slim's Run, yes. <laughs> I really don't. I'm saying that if my being honest was, you know, too honest, that I, that I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, sure. Apology accepted, I guess. Yes, thanks for the non-apology. You better accept it. <laughs> I, I mean, hey, thanks, bro. Oh my. That's quite the fragment. So it's like a kid and a kite and a tree? Another fragment! This is the second time a child has come up in a fragment for you. Crow, you really take a shine to kids, huh? I... I bet you used your cat-like reflexes to swat the kite out of the tree for him. I did help him, yeah. Didn't even thank me, just ran off. Guess I scared him away. Scared of you? But you're so fuzzy wuzzy! Aww. Get back to fixing my mind here, please. Right, sorry. Okay, so we want to get him the correct uh, Jeggy. This is the one we got from the other dude. This is the one that we uh, got from our friends. Maybe I don't have everything I need to unlock this memory yet. Uh, it's gonna make me do both, so... I guess what went down is I did give him the wrong Jeggy by accident in the memory. Yes, that was it! At least I think it was. Crow? What? Who the hell is that? At the table there. Wait... You mean you still don't remember? Even though the fragment is fixed? I remember sitting at the table for sure, but... Are you okay? Are you sure you want to keep going? Yeah, yeah. Let's get to the bottom of this. I don't like this. I'd better keep my guard up. Who are you, stranger? Better look at the tiger poster. Tiger, tiger. Hey, yeah, uh, yeah. Let me guess. You'd like to sit here, yes? How? How did I know what you were going to ask? Well, Crow, I know plenty of things. Hey, so he's psychic. Oh, lovely. I have your interest. And you have the information I want. Come, have a seat. Let's uh, get this trade over with quickly, then. If you don't mind. Do I make you uneasy, Crow? Does it seem like I know too much? Normally, I don't talk feelings with clients, but... Uh... Yeah, man. You're freaking me out a little. Yes, he does have the golden eye. Zinni, thank you so much for continuing your sub. I appreciate the sub. Do you know what an esper is, Crow? I don't think he would have any idea at this point. Never heard of it. You should never deprive yourself of education, Crow. <laughs> you never know when you might need that little bit of information. I'm just here to make a sale. That's it. School's out for summer. This guy's got like classic, you know, anime scumbag look to him. An Esper is an individual who possesses psychic abilities. Each one unique. Each one varying in power level. Espers, as we know them, are the result of mutations. 
randomly occurring, with some espers not even understanding the extent of their power. But there have been many advances in the study of espers done in secret. Cowboy Bebop villain looking ass. <laughs> There's now information on how to produce them. And that crow is the information you're going to give me tonight. Give nothing, pal. This is a sale. I'm happy to walk if you disagree. Uh-uh. I said what I meant, Crow. You're gonna give me that information. And why would I do that? Because I'm an esper myself, Crow. Granted, not a true one. I was hybridized in an attempt to gain some esper powers. Well, bully for you. No interrupting my monologue! <clears throat> Alrighty then. The information you've concealed in that jeggy, cute trick by the way, will allow me to realize my full potential. That said, even in my current state, I do have enough power to make you believe that we had an exchange as planned. When in fact, you simply gave me the information for free. Yeah, I'm out. All right, this is a big weird hassle. I'm out. <laughs> it's already done, Crow. I've been writing you a new set of memories about this night for our entire conversation. It's amazing how much of our reality is shaped by our memories of it. Mm. Don't know why I'm even telling you all this. It's not as if you'll remember it. Good night, Crow. <laughs> Props to this voice actor. He just went so hard. What? Whoa. What's happening? He really did start to rewrite your memory. But he's, uh, pretty bad at it. No wonder your memory is so messed up. <laughs> the barbarian crits. The link with the neurodiver is destabilizing. You two okay? I'm fine. Crow? I feel like I have brain freeze, but yeah. Seems like I and my mind are still in one piece. Did you end the dive gate? From out here? The neurodiver was looking a little sick, so I gently pulled them out and put them back in the capsule to rest. So, did you get to the bottom of Crow's information exchange? It wasn't so much an exchange as a psychic mugging. That idiot. After all that posturing, he must have taken the wrong jeggy in my other pocket. Do you think he got to the old birds too? He explains their half of the story not matching mine. Definitely. His powers seemed pretty crude, but they obviously were effective if it worked on you for so long. Well, at least this information is worth something, right? The stuff we were going to sell for all that money. Well, uh... Creating an Esper. Seems like some pretty serious tech, right? Yeah, but it's been ten years, remember? Since then, Minerva's basically perfected the science behind Espers. In fact, the information you have is likely the predecessor to the Neurodiver. It's the first completely synthetic Esper, you know? If that information was in the back of your closet for ten years... It sounds like you did Minerva a favor and kept it from leaking to our competitors for all that time. Huh. Figures. Well, it wasn't the information I was after in the first place. I'm gonna see if I can get in contact with the old birds. They probably won't believe what I tell them, so I hope you don't mind if I send them your way to get their memory set straight. I'd be happy to help. Feels like I'm really getting the hang of this thing now. I knew some field work was what you needed. Thanks for being our guinea pig, Crow. So, we're square after that poker game? <laughs> you bet. Poker! See you two around. What now, Yosidiate? Back to the study grind. 
No, you were right, Gate. Doing a real dive made me feel a lot better about this test. Well, it's not exactly Busan, but you want to go down the street for some drinks? What about my place? Why don't we drink at my place? I can try to make you some of the cocktails I saw in Crow's memory. Oh, if you're okay with me coming over. You walk me home all the time. Of course I'm okay with it. You can help me figure out how to be the neurodiver too. Well, you know all about it if you write the manual. I'll learn the hands-on way, thanks. He's gonna learn the hands-on way. That portion took place in Busan, yes, from the war. But this is uh, two years later. We're in California. There we go, Cerrito, California. We've got long hair now. I'm Luna Cruz de la Vega, 23 years old. I even have a name. I work at Minerva. An information technology company based just outside of Neo San Francisco. Oh, yeah. It might sound a little strange, but I'm gifted with powers of extrasensory perception. In other words, I'm an Esper. At work, I'm known as Esper 0801, or ES88 for short. We work on lots of top secret stuff there, and I get to use my psychic powers every day. Oh, no need to apologize. You, you were you had just missed the beginning of the stream is all. I was just making sure you were aware of what was going on. <sighs> Up just before the alarm as usual. And yes, today is Friday in California. Time to get ready for work. Let's see how the neurodiver is doing today. Neurodiver. The Neurodiver is one of those top secret work things I was talking about. They were engineered at Minerva to be a partner to Esper's by enhancing our abilities. Right now, I'm the only Esper bonded to and working with a Neurodiver. We've been partners for about three years now. Our tasks mostly involve gathering information. Directly from people's minds. <laughs> Are you reading my mind again? You know I love working with you, Neurodiver. I just wish that our assignments were a little more exciting. I feel like the wish is about to be granted. I mean, I want the world to see your potential. Oh, and mine too. We can do so much good, but right now we barely ever leave campus. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. I guess Gate isn't here yet. I think I'll wait for her on the balcony. It's October already? And so you're 2032? Only it's 2070 and this is just a vintage magical commander calendar. Lady Gamma. End. 
Hey, Marie, welcome in. We're playing a um, brand new release. Read only, me read only Memories, Neurodiver. It's a sequel to 2064, Read Only Memories, which came out about 10 years ago. So it's a long-awaited sequel. This apartment came pre-furnished and it all feels pretty fancy. The sofa's firmness can be adjusted and self-heating for cold days. It's supposed to be time to blorp. <laughs> First print run of Magical Commander Yukino. I'm pretty proud of it. Nerd. This is my kind of impressive if I do say so myself. Collection of Magical Commander Yukino memorabilia. Weeb. Hidden beneath her eye patch is her cosmic eye with the power to see through any deception. Through the infinite blackness of space, Yukino carries the light of justice! Nerd. <laughs> I'm doing well, Marie. How are you today? The San Francisco Bay. For corporate housing, we really do have some gorgeous views. The uh, first game took place in San Francisco. So we're across the bay right now. The Golden Gate Bridge! I never understood why they call it golden if it's actually red. I'm well hoping to make it through tomorrow and then big weekend. That's fair. It's fair indeed. I'm hoping you make it as well. Zell, thank you for shouting out, dude. Yes, they've been playing Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin. That's certainly a game of all time. This guy's doing pretty well for being on a west-facing balcony. Of course, it helps that they genetically alter them to need less sun. <laughs> yes, the Dark Souls mentioned. <laughs> More of it on Monday. Cool. It's always so foggy over in the OSF. I'll take living in sunny East Bay over that fog zone anytime. The Bay Bridge! The last time I used that bridge was when I moved here to start this job. That was over three years ago. Okay, look, I I'm just saying that DS2 is my least favorite Souls game. I'm not saying it's a bad game. That's all. Maybe I need to get out more. You've seen the Soul Mass albums. I've I've written a lot of Dark Souls 2 songs. I don't hate Dark Souls 2. Up oh, the Sutro Tower. Sutro Tower. What is that thing really? I heard the government uses it to broadcast mysterious signals across the bay. Well, no one's proved it's not true either. It's true. No one's proved it's not true. The tower did not exist in the last game, so it's only recently been built. Just finished your France Souls game? Oh, you were playing Steel Rising, that's right. I remember you saying you were, you enjoyed Steel Rising more than Dark Souls 2. We'll see how you feel about Dark Souls 2 once you get later in the game, though.
gate must be here by now, right? I'll check the door. Hey, gate! Oh, good morning, EOS 88. Sorry, I'm just finishing up. The whole manga? You finished already? Magical Commander Yukino, Volume 1. What can I say? You have great taste. I can see why you love Yukino so much. <laughs> Thank you. Do you want the next one? Yes, please. Trade me. Great. Are you ready to get going? You bet. So, Gate, are you excited for work today? The days are always the same. Protect the Neurodiver, eat lunch, make sure you don't get into any trouble. You never get in any trouble, but I'm happy you're here. I'm happy you're here. Who knows where we'd be tied up if you weren't around. Oh my. You say that, but nothing has ever happened before. Nothing yet. Mm-hmm. Are you excited for Halloween? No. Do you have any fun plans for tonight? Huh. I'll probably read Mothman 1966 until bedtime. Why? Do you have any fun plans? I mean, I'm down to read Mothman 1966. Me? No. I'm not doing anything. I might go out tonight, but I don't like going out alone. I think friends really add to the atmosphere. I'm not sure who would want to go, though. I asked Trace once, but she wanted to stay in and watch movies, so we did that instead. Do you want me to go out with you? <laughs> <laughs> if you're free? We'll see. I have to ask. Have you ever taken a break at work? There's never time to slack off at Minerva. But I'm sure you get tiny breaks between missions. I like to use that time to catch up on Minerva's policies. They have interesting pamphlets in the cafeteria. Mm. That's not very fun at all. What about you? Have you ever taken a break? Well, don't tell anyone, but sometimes, when I'm bored, I like to read the minds of co-workers that walk past my desk. <laughs> That's not cool, yes, 88. But they never stay for long, so I can only see so much. Yes, 88. That's an invasion of privacy. It started happening back when I first got here. People's memories just came to me. I didn't want to. But now it's kind of comforting. I never tell anyone secrets. Well, except to you, if you want to hear one. Oh my. Okay. You can tell me one story. Okay. We've got raccoons. I saw a nice dinner. There was this forest. I mean, I'm obviously going to go with the raccoons. One time, I saw a memory of someone walking home from the supermarket near here. They stopped and knelt down when they thought they saw a very large cat bumbling towards them. But it wasn't a cat. It was a raccoon! And there were more! A bunch of them! Don't worry about Gates' voice, Cell. Don't worry about it. They wanted the potato salad! They wanted the potato salad! <laughs> <laughs> uh, is this what you do with all your free time? No, I swear. In the past few years, I've only had a handful of truly dull days. And I like that about Minerva. There's adventure around every corner, and as an Esper, I always feel needed. It's nice. Uh, I just wish I could do something more exhilarating. Espers are the most important assets to Minerva. 
That's why I was assigned to the Neuron Diver when it was made. Yo, this is the longest elevator ever, by the way. The Neuron Diver is so much more than just an Esper. It's the first ever pure synthetic Esper. Made from practically nothing. I can see the Mitsuru sound. I know. It's very invaluable. Uh, right. Uh, I'll go check in with Lucy. I hope she has something fun for me this time. I'm going to the commons. Come get me if the mission involves leaving Minerva. Mm, you're not coming with me. There's no threat to the Neurodiver on campus. I think you can handle it. I know I can. Look at the pumpkin. Definitely cozy. Fashion display? Question mark? Lots of gourd and mushroom shapes going on. Hmm. see the uh, the mushroom and gourds going on more with this one it looks some, some kind of tokusatsu display <laughs> these are no, these are like straight out of common writer right <laughs> i would wear them seriously <laughs> she's such a nerd Where the old art goes. Exactly, monster of the week looking shit. Sugar skull. A bowl of candy. Dia de los Muertos is still a few days away, but the sugar skull seems pretty happy with the Halloween decor. I wonder if they'll have an altar this year. Someone took all the chocolates. And sour candies? Might as well not even have the bowl here at all now. Fair. Uh, fair. Welcome. Please scan your designated Minerva identification card. Will do, Lucy. Good morning, ES88. Checking for assignments. You have one. One. Mission requested by Senior Esper Trace. A breach in security has been identified in the psionics research lab. Level urgent. Wow. Well, it has to be pretty serious if Trace labeled it urgent. That's uh, a breach in security at the lab. The psionics research lab is located down the right corridor. Go down the hallway, the north hall, and past the vending machine. If you see the coffee maker, you Go back, and it's the hallway on the right. It'll have the Psionics Research Lab written on the top. <laughs> I have worked here for years, Lucy. <laughs> I got it. I got it, Lucy. Thank you. Remember the right corridor. Have a wonderful Minerva day. I wonder what secrets I'll be working on today. 
The security breach sounds really intense, but I know we can take it. Right, Neurodiver? I won't let Trace down! North Hall. And now it's Morgana? Yes. Definitely Morgana vibes from Lucy. Indecisive lab tech. Vending machines. Maybe a Hassie? Our neurodiver expert is here. That's me. Nice to meet you, Trace. So, what's going on? Something about a breach in security? <sighs> Something like that. Harold can't log into his Minerva account. He says he's been hacked, but I think there's more to this. What do you mean? Don't tell him I said. But I tried reading his memory and I was blocked out. I never seen this before. It felt like a direct psychic attack. Hmm, that sounds serious. It is. Cuídate, ¿entiendes? I'll be safe. I promise. We can't do this without you and the Neurodiver. I know you can figure this out. Thanks, Trace. I promise I'll do my best. <laughs> I know you will. I will let you start then. <clears throat> Report back when you finish. <laughs> it's just the whole desk is just labeled Harold. What's in Trace's lab? They won't let me look at anything. Alright, let's talk to Harold. Gave me a little wave. Uh, nice mask. Welcome. Uh, hey there, Harold. Speaking. <clears throat> yes, 88, at your service. And this is the Neurodiver. Oh, say hello. Blorp? Ah, hello, ES-88. And hello, Neurodiver. Uh. Say, are uh, either of you into Halloween? Yes. Sure. I love candy and wearing fun costumes. What about scares and pranks? Hmm? Oh boy. Uh, no. Uh, anyway, Trace told me you had an issue logging in. Yeah, I uh, can't remember my password. Huh, interesting. Could it really be a psychic attack like Trace said? Oh, what? Uh-oh. What do you mean, psychic attack? Is something wrong with my brain? Could be. I thought I just forgot it, but I'm being attacked. 
What will they take from me next? <laughs> Nothing, I promise. I'll take care of it, no problem. Oh, thank you for helping me. It's what I'm here for. As a reward, can I offer you some candy? Really? Thanks. You know, us espers, we love anything sugary. Right. Just reach out and grab one from the bowl on my desk. He's about to prank me. Okay. Yep, just gonna get pranked. Oh. No, she hates her pranks, so let's go with a wah. But the, the, the a Waluigi wah the, the wah <laughs> get it off <laughs> Hey, you almost broke it. it. It's not my fault. I don't like being scared. Why don't we focus on recovering your password? What did you do last before realizing you forgot it? Well, I was doing my monthly task of polishing the tanks in the labs. Then, when I got back to my desk, poof, gone. Polishing the tanks, you say? Hmm. <sighs> okay, Harold. Stay still. Uh, why? I'm going to link the Neurodiver to you. It might feel a little cold. Harold is certainly a character, Brett. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, God! Cold! <laughs> Now, let's get started. Let's, let's say something flashy again. Actually, no, we tried to say something cool before. But let's go, let's go for flashy. Narrow Diver! It's showtime! Perfect. What? <laughs> what? gone anywhere, Harold. Calm down. This is a memory. The day you created your password. The Neurodiver allows me to enter your memories and repair any damage. Ah, so this is... Ah, we're at work. <laughs> My desk? Yes. Almost a year ago to the day, it looks like. Harold, do you really only change your password once a year? Okay, look. ES88, I'm going to need you to back all the way up off about this password thing, all right? Um, well, you, you see. Uh... Never mind. Let's just get your password back. Okay, what do I have to do? You just relax. I'll be piloting your memory to try and see what's gone wrong. Uh, piloting? You're not actually in control right now. The Neurodiver lets me navigate the memory for you as part of the repair process. Hmm. So I'm like a mech? <laughs> <laughs> yes, the Neurodiver is controlling you like a mech right now, Harold. What? You're the pilot, and you're piloting me like a mech. Um, in a way... Uh... Next, you're gonna tell me you use a one password for everything. Yeah, it's one, two, three, four, five. It's a password I use on my luggage. A meat mech. A meat mech. Ugh, gross! Again, I said anything. Oh. I hope I forget most of this when it's over. PC Masaki poster. Phantom Cleaner Misaki poster. <laughs> Specifically the feature film PC Misaki. 
Do you remember paradise? Do you remember paradise? <laughs> Are you familiar with the classic, acclaimed, long-running anime, PC Misaki? <laughs> of course. And? And what? Well, what do you think about it? I think Misaki's pretty cool with her lipstick baton. Lipstick baton? No, no, you're thinking of Devil Quest Inc. Easy mistake. Oh. Anyway, Misaki's assistant can vanquish a ghost in an instant with his divine palm. <laughs> the coolest. Oh my god, Harold. I want to shove Harold in a locker. Uh, her assistant is kind of a creep. Creep? No, no. You have to look at it through the lens of the time. In the 50s, anime was... The 2050s. <laughs> Harold, is any of what you're about to say going to help us figure out your password? Absolutely. Well, it might if he made it about PC Misaki, which he probably did. I still have my lucky ticket stub around here somewhere. Good to know. Let's take this poster as a clue, just in case. Whoa. This plan isn't looking too good. Did he replace it recently? What? Uh, Drake? What? Like, uh... Drake. Huh? My plant. And no, I did not replace him. I eventually got into the swing of watering, sunbathing, and uh, singing to him regularly. Really, Harold? Well, sounds like there's some significant history here. Maybe I'll add the plant to my clues. Oh, no, no need. What? Why not? Because I'd never use my plant's name for a password? Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Pumpkin surprise! Mm. I'm already exhausted. More importantly, I don't think this is a clue. Poor ESCD, just getting pranked over and over. Candy bowl. We meet again. <laughs> Our nemesis, Candy Bowl. I guess I'm not surprised this silly bowl has been around for more than one Halloween. Hmm. Harold really gets a kick out of this thing. And it's been here for a while. Maybe it's a clue? I'll hold on to it for now. But if it even tries to snap at me again... Yes, Sadie and Paprika would be unstoppable as a tag team. So true. 100% true. Looks like Harold slapped a... Robot spider decal on the side of his console. Metal Stringer. The BZ-102 Metal Stringer, a programmable pet robot. It was a group by robotics kit. Hot swappable legs, several different personality patterns. Ah, <laughs> very expensive. You're really into this stuff, huh? Petite Circuit makes high quality stuff. The promo stickers aren't bad either. Hmm. Okay. Like we'll check the drawer and then we'll mess with this. <laughs> really, Harold? No! <laughs> wow! Wow! Spider! Yes, it does look like a Tachikoma. I agree. Considered cute. 
but he's my Hadoo pet spider. Wait, I had a pet spider? No, you absolutely did not. This is a fragment. It's damage done to your memory. Whatever is supposed to be here has been replaced by something from elsewhere in your subconscious. My subconscious? How could something like that happen? They're usually caused by severe trauma or a direct psychic attack. I like that this dude like works in a psionics lab and has no idea how psychic attacks work. Attack? Although I guess he does just, you know, the polish the, uh, exactly capsules the kind of all the time. He's just a dude. Uh, so, uh, what do we do? We need to keep looking around this memory. We need to look at the things you looked at, think about them, and try to connect the dots. Some items will be clues that will allow us to repair the fragment. Okay, I'll follow. You don't really have a choice. It couldn't be the Tatracoma poster, right? It's actually his spider robo pet. Exactly. Tank <laughs> the tank polisher doesn't need to know a damn thing. Alright, so he's got clutter and he's got his ticket stub and his spider robot pet. Just a bunch of miscellaneous. And I thought I was messy. A ticket stub for the Phantom Cleaner Misaki movie. Do you remember Paradise? From October 31st, 2055, the day PC Misaki's story would come to an end. I Seems important enough to add to our collection of clues. I've got a hunch things are beginning to fall into place. Phew, that's better. Now, what else is hiding in this drawer? Hey, wait a minute! Frankie! Frankie? <laughs> Frankie? My pet spider! It's real? <laughs> no, it, it's not real. It's the BC-102 metal stringer. All right. That explains the robot decal. I love my little brain. I often pull him out of the drawer when I'm feeling befuddled. Well, we are not out of the woods yet. You still don't know your password, do you? Uh, I'm assuming the spider has hands because it has like pedipalps. If you look up um, spiders, they have pedipalps like on the sides of their mouths that they kind of use to hold things. No, not yet. They aren't really hands, but they're functional. Then it's back to small space sleuthing. Let's hold on to little Frankie, just in case he's a clue to the other fragment. We got the Robo-Pet. Spiders do have so many hands, don't they? But Maria's not a spider. Contrary to popular belief. Alright, let's check out the, uh, the screen here. A pers per 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 a perfectly reasonable reaction. What is that? Mm hmm. One of your Halloween tricks, Harold? No way. That's too scary to be a trick. I'm kidding. Actually, it's another fragment. So there's two fragments in here. That's some serious damage. What the heck could have done this? <gasps> Did someone attack my brain? Well, it's very possible. Oh! 
Wow, his feet! <laughs> this isn't exactly a picnic for me either. I'll keep looking around for clues to fix this. Okay, so poster, ticket, and the spider. There we go. Ghost busted! Ghost busted! Yes, top tier voice acting. Like the voice acting in the uh, original 2064 was also extremely good, but so far this is uh, very well done. I mean, memory repaired. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't say it out loud. Yeah. Looks like it's been recovered, though. If everything's in order, I'll go ahead and end the dive now. Yes, please do. Right. Here we go. Password recovered. Easy as pie. That was some forgot password process. Oh, thanks so much. I thought I was a goner. No more money to buy Halloween decorations. No more office parties. I've been the Halloween party planner for the past five years, you know. That's cool. I'm glad I could help. So, did you find out what happened? It all came rushing back to me. Last tanks I cleaned were in Fortuna's office. I was polishing the last one, and then I felt a shock. Or maybe it was a flash. It didn't hurt, but afterwards, I completely forgot what I was doing and went back to my desk. I wonder if the shock caused some sort of gap in your memory. How are you feeling now? I feel much better. Thank you. Yes, 88. But... But what? How do you know it won't happen again? Espers and psychic attacks are... complicated. But I wouldn't let it hold you back from living life. Well, I'll just take the Neurodiver now. B uh, wait! What is it? Thank you for saving my life. Uh, it's no problem. It was just a small mission. Yeah, if you ever want to trade manga with me sometime. Oh, uh, the Neurodiver is, uh, pretty heavy. Uh, I better keep going. <laughs> Smooth exit, ES88. Um, well done. Right. Do you like to hear my beautiful plant song? <laughs> That's someone rhymes with bureau writer, really? This little guy's kind of growing on me. Alright, one more time with the candy and then we'll move on. Had enough of this bowl. <laughs> We're done with Harold. Let's go talk to Trace. Yeah, 
Yikes, that was awkward. Ugh, don't worry about him. Did you find out what went wrong? Well, there were a couple fragments, nothing too intense, but... When we talked about what happened, he told me he felt a shock or something while cleaning the tanks in Fortuna's office. Yes, I, I love all of ES88's expressions. This game's pixel art is just chef's kiss. It's funny you say that. I received a message from Fortuna while you were in the dive. She has a mission she says only the neuro diver can handle. She wants to see you in her office. <gasps> Fortuna wants to give a mission in person? <laughs> Must be a special occasion. Yes, eh? Usually I'd have more information by now, but she didn't want to tell me anything until you spoke with her. You should head there right away. Should I go get Gate before I head upstairs? No. Fortuna was very clear. She only wants to talk to you. Wow. I guess this is very serious. Thanks, Trace. I'll talk to you later. Suerte. I want to click on whatever this little puppy thing is. I want to see what it is. Alright, exit the hallway. Have you made a decision yet? <laughs> Let's talk to Lucy. Just cause. He's so helpful. Uh, would be a shame if I actually went down the south hall. Ah, uh, it doesn't let me, obviously. Time for a long elevator ride? Welcome in. Please, ES-88. Have a seat. Thank you. You know when ES-88 rides the elevator with Gate, she hits all the buttons to spend more time with him. True. That's gotta be what it was, right? It almost looks like an outfit a warlock would wear. Oh, this one's really cute and looks like it's my size. Good taste. Outfit. Oh, it's only been worn once at the Academy Awards in the early 2030s. First I bought when I got the job. Alright, Marie. Hope you have a good night. Sleep well. I'll be seeing you around. Thanks for stopping in. I print up every environment in this game. It's valid. I have a feeling that we've only just seen like the tip of the iceberg.
tree. The Erd tree. That's a huge ginkgo tree. I think I've explored everything. Okay, now we'll talk. Fortuna. How was your last mission? It was nothing I couldn't handle. <laughs> I like the confidence in your voice. I don't want to keep you long. So I'll get right to the point. There have been reports of a rogue esper of sorts. His name is Golden Butterfly. And he is not to be trusted. Golden Butterfly. I is he dangerous? Possibly. But I want you to remember something, ES-88. At Minerva, it is our mission to protect the public from those seeking to cause harm. I would not send you into this mission if I didn't believe you could handle this. You really believe in me? Of course. Now, there are a few things to be wary of. Golden has been known to hide in people's memories, essentially creating powerful fragments. How he picks his victims is unknown, but he's not picky. We're working on what his ulterior motive can be. How powerful are the fragments? Let's just say, I need you on this, as soon as possible. I'm on it. I know you won't let me down. I have to head to my next meeting. I'll have Trace track the location of the next victim of Golden. She'll give you the details when she has them. Thanks, Fortuna. No. Thank you, ES-88. Try to get some rest. Maybe have lunch. Will do. Well, a gate's waiting for you in the comments. Have you ever tried any of those nutritional tablets she's always chowing down on? Uh, no, I... But human food isn't good enough for her? She's never said. Anyway, Commons is down the South Hall. I go there every day, Lucy. Have a wonderful Minerva day! Have a wonderful Minerva day, y'all. Gates in the commons if you need her. South Hall. Uh-huh. Thank you, Alicia. I will hydrate. Omelets and butter chicken are out of this world. Hey, Gade. Sorry I took so long. I had a meeting with Fortuna. Oh. What was it about? Super serious mission about someone named Golden Butterfly. That does sound serious. What did they do? He's been known to cause fragments in people's memories. To do what exactly? Uh, we don't know yet. Trace is supposed to do some digging. There you two are. It's good over. I'll move over so you can sit across from us. 
as long as I get a seat. How did your meeting with Fortuna go? I just got a message from her. I'm excited to get started. <gasps> Do you know where we're going next? Please. It's going to take me all night to track this person down. Ay, ay, I swear. Fortuna thinks I'm a genius. That's because you are one. Cállate. <laughs> so, do you have any plans tonight? Maybe with Gate? Trace. We don't have anything planned currently. After work, I'm going to read in my room. And you, Luna? I might restart you, Kino. <laughs> I might restart Yukino. I might restart the Yukino series again. How many times have you seen this now? Five hundred. A couple times. <laughs> it's getting late. You two should enjoy your day while you can. I think I'll buy some snacks and then work on getting you a lead. We appreciate you, Trace. Yeah, Trace. We appreciate you so much. Calmate, calmate. <laughs> I'll be in my lab. Nos vemos. Bye, Jace. Goodbye. <laughs> She's right about it getting late. Let me walk you to your door. Uh, okay. All this girl thinks about is you can know. Valid. So? Yes? I'm excited to finally leave Minerva's campus. I haven't been to Neo San Francisco in a while. Me neither. I can't wait to explore the city with you. Y yeah. Me too. Well, this is me. Thanks for walking me back, Gate. I don't mind it. It's on my way home. So, I don't have much going on tonight. Did you want to hang out for a bit? Oh, uh, it's getting pretty late. I should get to bed. Good night, Gate. Sure, I understand. Good night, Luna. Phew, oh, that was close. Gate makes me so nervous. Why can't I just let her in? You could be roommates. This is my kind of hidden beneath her through. Okay, okay, we've already heard the Yukino speech. Poor Gate is correct. I'm pretty sure Gate's very patient, though. Oh my god. Our story begins with our hero, the great magical commander. Using the combined power of the four celestial bodies, she pierces through the souls of our enemies, vanquishing them back into the realm of the Dark Star Galaxy. Confident and steady, she flies at the speed of starlight, diverting disasters and cosmic calamities. The enemies are in position. The lighting is set. Which one will be her downfall? 
A weakness exposed. Lights! Camera! Action! The golden hour has arrived. Magical Space Commander Luna! Amazing. We've confirmed the android's dream of being uh, tokusatsu heroes. That was such a strange dream. Weird though. It kind of felt like I was in an episode of Magical Commander. Then he absolutely, I cannot recommend 2064 enough. Um, since it's so old, it's it's quite inexpensive now. And if you would just want to wish list it and wait for a sale, I'm sure it goes on sale often or might even be on sale right now because of this release. Uh, but even this game is also inexpensive. It's, since it's a new release, I think it's only like $13 or something. Definitely worth getting so far. It felt like someone was trying to speak to me. Uh, anyway... It was just a dream. Yeah, it's way oh, worth it. Are you ready to do some diving, Neuro Diver? Ten dollars, even ten dollars is full price. It's it's way worth ten dollars. That game, it's um, it's much longer than you think it will be when you start playing it. And it's very good, if I haven't said that enough. I love that game. I'll do my best too. Okay, we've already like explored everything. Let's check the balcony. to this view and the fresh air from the coast this is the biggest mission i've ever had and my first real mission off campus oh, i wonder if i can really do this oh, i'm so nervous no no pull yourself together es88 you're an esper Psychic Extraordinaire! Hey, Gate! I like how every time we get Gate show up on the screen, we gotta do the scroll up to the face. Just to show off the fit. Because like we said, the fit is so good. Good morning, ES88. Are you ready to go? Heck yeah! Let's head out! Finally, we get to leave Minerva's campus! Are you pumped? I'm excited. How do you feel about it? I feel so great! Like I'm unstoppable! <laughs> That's good. But remember to pace yourself. Take some time to rest. It'd definitely be a good uh, palate cleanser after Crow Country. Crow Country's awesome, though. I watched um, Big Scared play through that game recently. I loved it. That's a fantastic game. Hope you're enjoying it. In fact, I'm sure you are. I'll rest when I'm dead. talk to Lucy. Good morning. Please display your Minerva identification card. Ooh, I hear you got a top secret off-site mission. Yeah! Wait, how did you hear about it? Nothing goes on here that I don't know about. Right. 
You know, sometimes I forget you're connected to all Minerva databases. <laughs> you're telling me? Uh, it keeps me employed. Have a wonderful Minerva day. Have a wonderful Minerva she day. She Trace's lap. She's probably waiting for us. Good call. Nothing new with Harold. Uh, Trace was up all night, as predicted. Hey, Trace, wake up. Trace? I think she's asleep. for bacon <laughs> how should i know mm. buenos dias chase did you sleep here all night i guess i did it's my fault for listening to classical music with the lights dimmed i get you every time oh. sorry we made you work late trace i no, it's not a... Honestly, it was the best sleep I've had in months. Did you find any information on our first assignment? Ah, yes. Golden's first victim, Lexi Rivers. A private investigator. Her office is located on Geary, between 2nd Avenue and Arguello Boulevard. How did you find her? Golden's actions create a... Signal or f footprint that my team can track down. What technology does Minerva have to track psychic signals? <laughs> wow, Gate. I thought you would have known that with all the documentation you go through. I still have merely a human brain, ES88. I can't memorize everything. Espers. We can sometimes feel other espers or psychic activities near to us. Gate, I'll send you the address to her office. Lexi Rivers, Private Eye. She sounds like a comic book character. Do you not remember Lexi? Not really. Should I? You met her some time ago, but it's easy to forget. Besides, you're terrible at names. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe seeing them in person will jog my memory. Because this is sensitive, I made an appointment for you at her office. Undercover! <laughs> Fancy stuff. I'll set the appointment deals in my calendar. Thank you for doing all this work, Trace. Claro. Let me know how it goes. Kate, do you want to get breakfast before we leave? I would love to. Right, my important mission is breakfast with Gate. Go do that. Ready to go to the commons? Ooh, good call. I think it's omelet day. I swear, this is the best omelet I've ever had. You are really missing out, Gabe. Hmm? Are you sure you don't want one? I prefer to have a light breakfast. I grab nutritional tablets from the front. Don't you ever get tired of eating tablets? Got some quick podcast I need to do before bed. Have a Minerva night, everybody. All right, thanks for hanging out, Zenny. I really appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of Crow Country as you finish it up. I know you will. And then hope you get to experience 2064 soon. See you around next time. Not really. There's no hassle to them. 
and they come in a large variety of flavors. Good food isn't a hassle, Kate. But suit yourself. Did Fortuna tell you anything else about Golden? She told me his attacks are seemingly random. Is this the first one they found? Or the first one an Esper couldn't figure out alone. What determines if an Esper is rogue? Well, besides the Minerva Code of Conduct, the existence of Espers is still largely unknown. So there aren't any laws or rules written out for us. So it's purely a social contract. Like, you could probably tear someone's arm off right now if you wanted to, right? That's a pretty gruesome path to take this, but yes. You wouldn't do that, though, because then you'd be a huge jerk. You'd be a huge jerk, yes. <laughs> For tearing someone's arm off. I'd be more than that, but... So, if you have psychic powers, that's cool. But if you start using your abilities in a way that's harmful for others, like uh, scrambling memories, or... Or spying on people's thoughts out of boredom as they pass by. Brett's saying what we were all thinking. <laughs> anyway, if you're harming people with your abilities, then you're labeled a rogue by Minerva. But not a lot of people know about us. So if an Esper is causing trouble, another Esper is on the case. What if an Esper became too powerful or dangerous? I doubt Minerva can handle an entire uprising if it ever occurred. We've never had a case we couldn't handle. But there might come a day when... Gay, chill out! It's going to be fine. Fortuna would never send us into a mission we couldn't handle. Now, what's our story? What do you mean? We have an appointment at Lexi's office. But what's our cover? What are we doing there? I think we can reveal our intentions once we get there. Aww, you're no fun. Fine. What do you want our story to be? We're running away from the law! Two robbers running from the law. Why would we need a PI? Won't she just turn us in? Hmm. What if we need to find our teammate who turned their back on us? They fell in love with the Mona Lisa we took from the loop and vanished into the night. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's still illegal. I'll wing it. Well, should we get going? Lead the way. Oh my god. It's a motorcycle with a sidecar. Oh, this building is so old. I didn't know architecture like this still existed in Neo San Francisco. The further away from downtown you are, the older the buildings get. Ideal transport indeed. Little mini ecosystems. Some even have small fruits and vegetables growing in them. Rivers PI. Looks like the entrance is just below the sign. Windows are open. West Stone Tea Garden. Yes, there's a tea shop around back. That's pretty cute. Escape Books and Antiques. There's a used bookstore here, Gate. Usually go to Red Apple if I'm in the area. Posters. Discount of horror suspense novels.
Okay. I think we've seen everything here. Other door. Please use the other door. <laughs> All that's left to do is buzz in. Yeah. Hi, we're here for an appointment with Lexi Rivers. Let's head up. Gate and ES-88, was it? Yep. And you're Lexi Rivers? That's me. Please come in, make yourself comfortable. Thank you. So, what can I help you with? You, uh, didn't say much in the appointment request form. We're actually here for Minerva. Minerva? Wow. I haven't talked about them since... Wait, Luna? Is that you? Yeah, that's me. So, we have met then? It was a long time ago, but I helped you get to Minerva when you were a kid. You did? Wow, you look so different. You're purple. <laughs> yeah, it's something to get used to. Well, I'm sorry I don't remember you. I don't remember a lot from that time. I don't blame you. So what are you here for? I guess if you're responsible for bringing me to Minerva, you know what espers are, right? Absolute Johnny from Soul Bianca vibes. I can definitely see that. Yeah, and I've got a vague idea of what you're capable of. Psychic stuff, right? Right, an ESP user. Esper. We're currently tracking down a rogue one. A rogue one? What happened? We detected a psychic anomaly of sorts from this location. It's possible you've experienced one without realizing it. What do you mean, experienced one? From what we've gathered, this rogue esper latches onto memory somehow, which can degrade them. Since this is newer information, we need to find out if what you're experiencing is or isn't a result of this anomaly. So how can we know for sure? Well, with a combination of my abilities and this little guy here. The Neurodiver! With its help, I can dive into your memories and see if I can find any abnormal activity. So, you'll be a psychic sleuth in my head, then. Well, that's a little unsettling, but... I guess it's either that or risk losing my memories. What do you need from me? Getting to know you more will help me zero in on where I'm diving. Well, my whole life is in this office, so feel free to look around. Grab some clues. What's on the whiteboard? Local bouncer exposes deadly cult. <gasps> Whoa! That's Crow! I know him! Were you his partner? God help me. Crow's more like... a rival. A pain in my ass, really. I did the legwork on the case, but he took credit for it. As usual. Oh. How do you know him? We worked on a mission with him, right, Gate? That's right. He was ES-88's first real dive. Huh. Well, if Crow did it, then there's no reason for me to be worried. Oh, uh, that's the spirit?
part of NSFPD? I was, but it's a part of my past now. Why did you stop? Lots of reasons. But there were two that happened in a year that made me finally consider leaving. But actually, I'm having a hard time remembering one of them. I know it had something to do with one of my last major cases at the NSFPD. Looks like we're gonna flash back to the last game. Specifically, I grew up visiting the woods as a kid. Oh, it looks so peaceful. It's beautiful there. One of my favorite spots for nature photography. Still is. Do you still take photos like this? Sometimes I'm tempted to pull out my old cameras and mess with them, just for fun. But most of the photography I do these days is for my PI work. Why are they all wet? <laughs> it would just get more confusing. the class didn't help. Okay, Lexi. Ready for me and my super worm to dive into your brain? Don't call it a super worm. You've really got to stop calling it that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready as I'll ever be. Let's say something magical. The magical commander will cast fragments into stardust! No notes. Oh, fancy room. Are we in a hotel? What? Sort of. It's actually a train called the Golden Rail. Oh, I think I've heard about this. A massive train that brings the luxury hotel experience on the go. Or whatever. That's right. Huge, very fancy. Still not a high-speed rail, but at least it's pretty. I can't believe you got to experience the coast like this. Oh, it's like a dream. If she has a dream and has a magical transformation, it'd be absolutely wonderful. I wish I had more time to admire it. But I never went back. Why not? I like to leave the past behind. That's where it belongs. Part of the program developed by the Flower Cybernetics Group for the U.S. military, volunteers donated their neural tissue to pilot android bodies for classified military operations in 2038. 2039, the Humanity Protection Act, but named the results of this project Brain Controlled Androids, or BCA. The human neural tissue is present in these spe specialized machines. The HPA strictly classifies BCAs as androids and not cyborgs. Once a BCA is relieved from military duty, all weaponized equipment is disarmed and removed so it's able to coexist in society. To ensure the safety of our citizens, the BCA's activity will continue being monitored past its military purpose. 
Seems to be a government issued pamphlet on BCAs. They wanted to get ahead of the narrative, huh? Yeah, this is immediately after the events of the last game. A BCA might seek to disable all monitoring and re-weaponize themselves by a legal cybernetics dealer. This is referred to as brain breaking. Procedure allows BCAs to be refitted with military grade weaponry, which also runs the risk of spreading dangerous BCA components across unregulated markets. Our informants have picked up on a ring of illegal market dealers smuggling BBBCA parts between Tijuana and Vancouver. This investigation has led us to the Golden Rail, a cross country luxury train, as a possible transportation hub. Brain breaking sounds painful. There's a photo! Plant. Uh, nightstand. Talk to Carter. I guess this is Lexi's partner. All right, babes, this is it. We arrest the guy and get all the glory. Is that what matters to you? The glory? Lexi, you can't be in this job without it. Don't lie. You know you love it too. Let's just solve the case. Your informant blabbed about his guy using the night train to get product to LA, right? That's what he said, anyway. Well, don't go second-guessing yourself now, Lex. We need to keep our heads down, but I have a good feeling about this train. It's a bust. At least the view is nice. The view is nice. But it also means we're almost to LA, and that SOB is about to do the drop. Right. I'll search the passenger car. You go on ahead. We can meet back up in the observation car. You got it. Oh, I almost forgot. Take this. It'll give you access to just about any cabin in this train. Initiate universal key success. Don't be a weirdo. Remember, just call my name and I'll be there for you, hun. I know. Now, let's go get that wanker. Cabin 1, Cabin 2, Cabin 3, Cabin 4. Observation car, plant. I mean, I guess we'll just go through the cabins one by one, huh? Oh, we were in cabin one. Whoops. Hello? Detective Rivers, NSF PD. I'm coming in. Yeah, what's taking so long in this guy's order?
Hello? Detective Rivers, NSFPD. I'm coming in. Wow. I've never smelled fall like this before. It's so... crisp. What? Is this Weedamo Woods? It does look like the photo. I'm feeling a bit cold. Whoa. That makes sense. The photo was taken during fall. I had so much fun rolling in the leaves afterwards. Why does it feel so real? This is a really intense corruption. Sometimes... that can happen. Wow. I feel like I could sit on the grass and lay here forever. Me too. Uh, no! We need to snap out of it. Right. Right. Let's keep moving. Looks like I'm missing things. That felt so real. I've never felt anything like it before. Fortuna was right. This has to be a very powerful esper. What? There's a powerful esper in my head? So, how does this work? Are they somewhere near my office, or...? Just accept the propaganda, Alicia. Just accept it. Well, they might actually be here, in your memory. As far as we know, they don't have a body. You're telling me I have some sort of psychic ghost in my mind? Possibly. Maybe. But don't worry. We'll solve this mystery. Psychic Detective ES88 is on the case. Nice. All right then. Carry on, Detective. Hello? Detective Rivers, NSFPD. I'm coming in. Ain't nothing in here. Whoa, the ocean looks so pretty at night. The glimmering waves and shimmering stars. It's such a romantic view. Vistas, Detective Rip. Sorry, Luna. Huh? W wait, are you? <laughs> it's very nice to meet you. <laughs> wait! What? What's wrong? Did Did you see that? See what? Huh. Is everything okay? Yeah, sorry. Let's continue. Noted Seaside Vista. I mean, we have three things now. I can at least try them. Take some more time. It's a gold played version of that clown Pokemon. You mean Jinx? The Mime one? Or Mr. Mime? Oh, we got a mermaid here. And a bartender.
Got a band. The ROM music band. Bada Nova, Bubble Gumba, and Robo Rock. I was enjoying Robo Rock. Oh, that sucks. X, Y, Z, Z, Y. investigate this mermaid something's definitely not right here what is this I think it's a mermaid I never encountered a mermaid during my investigation maybe not but something in your subconscious brooded up Let's go with the uh, water and um, whatever this is. I don't know. Nope. Nope, I don't have it yet. I know this has got to be one of them, though. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Room, you say. Robo Bandanza. Huh. Golden Rail invites you to a 10th anniversary celebration extravaganza. The Grand Conductor Veronica Summers is proud to. Hmm. She looks familiar. She looks so. official. My memory's kind of foggy, but I'm pretty sure I remember this ad. I think she was on the train, too. I'll keep that in mind. I think we found our mermaid. Detective with NSF PD. I need to ask you a few questions. That's a loud suit for an NSF PD detective. May I ask to see your credentials? Of course. Hmm. Lexi Rivers. 
Okay, Lexi, ask away. I don't have much time, though. I'm waiting for a repair guy. And what is your name? Veronica. Great, Veronica. Have you noticed anything slightly suspicious happening on this train? No. And nothing happens on this train without me knowing about it. That's what they all say. Why is that? I run this train, and trust me when I tell you, I know what I'm doing. Oh my. What's your job on this train? I'm the grand conductor for this train. What kind of title is that? It's an administrative position, more or less. Great, so if anyone knows anything, that's you. Exactly. All employee activity goes through me. So, if you need anything, don't bother them. Come to me. Good to know. Are you familiar with BCAs? Hmm, not really. Does it mean anything? It stands for Brain Controlled Android. I see. Are you looking for one on this train? Are they dangerous? No, no. We're not looking for an android. Just its parts. Parts? Oh, I'm sorry. But none of this rings any bells. Don't worry. This is all just protocol. Detective Rivers, I'm very busy arranging a repair for the ROM band over there. Veronica seems so trustworthy, y'all. I understand. I'll let you know if anything suspicious comes up. But in the meantime, unless you have something I can work with, I'm afraid I won't be of much help to you. Hey! Hey, Carter. Lex, what's up? Any updates on your side? Nothing exciting, but I got lots of complaints about that band. It worked fine for me, yeah, at first, but then they strolled on one of the songs. Well, I'll continue snooping around here and keep you updated. Thanks, Carter. Hey, Carter. Lex, what's up? Kind of a fancy place to smuggle illegal goods, huh? High luxury. High profile, high risk. But an SFPD usually assumes nothing like this would go on around the ridge. Must be an expensive operation going back and forth on this thing. I'm thinking there might be someone on the inside working with them. Hmm. I have to agree. Well, I'll continue snooping around here and keep you updated. Thanks, Carter. Lex? That briefing on BCAs seemed a little... Ghoulish? Yeah, you could say that. I get that the hardware is government property, but... These are black market dealers stealing parts from BCAs, though. Yeah, but it feels like a mess. Brain breaking on the BCAs side is also a crime. Will the BCA get charged, too? Good news, we have your parts. Bad news, you're being requisitioned. Get too lost in the woods, Lex. Let's wrap up this investigation and go from there. Well, I'll continue snooping around here. Thanks, Carter. Did we find everything? I mean, we haven't found enough clues yet. Checking everything to make sure I didn't miss anything in this room, I guess.
Doesn't appear so. Detective Rivers, I'm very busy. I understand. I'll let you know if anything suspicious comes up. But in the meantime, unless you have something I can work with, I'm afraid I won't be a... This is the room where the dude appeared, but there's nothing special here. Okay, we heard this. Hey! Oh, the body, the BCA part. The arm. I wonder if Veronica has anything to say about this. Oh god, I remember this. What is it? A BCA part. Oh, like Gate. Shouldn't it look more, uh, human? When they're stripped, they look like any other android part. Grafted onto a humanoid bot and... They're hidden in plain sight! Right. So how did you know this was a BCA part then? The sockets looked non-standard for civilian androids. It's all military grade. Those need special modifications, otherwise they'll just malfunction or not work at all. It was a smart idea to put the band out of order. Too bad. I'm smarter. Whoa! <laughs> what is it? God, you're so cool! <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, thanks. Hey, Carter. Lex, what's up? Look at what I found. Oh, so that's what blew off of the band. Looks like they're attaching parts onto the bots here. Pretty clever. We finally got some evidence. Now to find the suspect. Well, I'll continue snooping around here and keep you updated. Thanks, Carter.
need to ask you a few questions. Do you know anything about this? Hmm. No. What is that? To be fair, she is cool, yes. It's an illegally acquired BCA part. Oh. So, I think you better start talking now. How do you know I have anything to do with it? Well, the funny thing is, it fell out of one of the ROM band members over there. You saw that, right? I mean, nothing happens on this train without you knowing about it. I don't think your boss will be too happy to know you've been using their trains to smuggle illegal goods. So like I said, what do you know about this BCA part? Fine. Fine. But keep your voice down. What do you want to know? Why are you smuggling BCA parts? Uh, I'm not the one smuggling them. I doubt that. I'm not. I just let them through. But why? Did you know these parts were stolen from people? We'll determine if that's the case when we run tests on the parts we find. We were just returning them! It's not my place to stop it. Who do you work for? Who paid you off? No one had to pay me off. I'm just trying to do the right thing. I don't know if I should be talking to you right now. Tell me why I shouldn't arrest you right now. This is a crime. I'm not doing anything. Allowing illegal activity to occur on your train is a crime. You're an accomplice. We're making things right. Doesn't matter what you think is the right choice here. Look, Detective Rivers. If you want to be part of the problem, be my guest. You've been somewhat helpful. Thanks. I'm going to keep searching around. Wait a minute. Now it's my turn to ask a question. What do you need? Why do you think you're so much better than us? Excuse me? Not that I owe you anything, but I have cybernetic parts too. And if someone stole pieces of my body, and then I had to wait months, if not years, for the police to even care, I wouldn't trust you either. Paperwork takes time, unfortunately. Why do you all sit on your high pedestals, doing nothing all day? while real crimes are being committed. We try our best. Aha, not hard enough. Oh, now that these parts are on an expensive train, you suddenly have all cops on deck. You asked why we do this? It's because pigs like you refuse to stand up for what's right. Dang, so real! was here. I have something for you. What is it? A message. Now take it and don't talk to me again. What? How does this have my name on it? There are eyes and ears everywhere. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. She was right, though. What? It was part of the job. Interrogating and the like. Do you agree with her? All that stuff she said? I don't know anymore. I'm glad Lexi had a change of heart. So many things.
crow is here. Crow? Are you serious? Took you long enough. Well, can't say I'm too surprised. It's not like this is the first time. But I can't believe I finally got you. Oh, you got me, huh? For what exactly? Try smuggling, dumbass. And honestly, I don't have to explain anything to you. Let's go. Relax with the condescending tone, detective. Do you even know what's being smuggled here? Yeah, BCA parts. You know you're handling government property, right? Lexi, it's... On top of that, you roped the Golden Rails Administrator into this. That's pretty low. What's the bounty for this? <sighs> I'm doing this as a favor for an old friend. Why does this friend want PCA parts? He wants them back. They were taken from him during a BB job that went south. There's been a string of BB doctors turning on BCAs to sell their parts back to the military for a hefty bounty. You're smuggling those parts from them, so they can go back to their rightful owners. You mean the owners who are stealing hardware by BBing themselves? It's their body, Lexi. Those eyes you've got are augments, right? Yeah, so? How would you like it if the government tracked them for the rest of your life? Knowing every move you make, ready to scoop them out when they feel like it. What? Got nothing to say? Lexi, you've never settled for the easy kill. You're smarter than that. These are people's bodies we're talking about, not government assets. Get off the propaganda. God damn it. Okay, Crow. I'll notify my partner. I won't promise anything. But maybe there's a plan of action here. What? Oh, what happens next? I can fill you in on the rest, but can we get out of here first? I don't really want to stick around. Yeah, definitely. Let's get out of here, Neurodiver. Oh, no! Leaving so soon? Whoa! H how are you doing that? Wait! You're Golden Butterfly, aren't you? Ha! Is that what they're calling me? I guess it's fitting. I was really enjoying that memory, by the way. Why did you have to come in and ruin the fun? I was here to repair Lexi's memory and stop you from hurting anyone else. Oh, is that it? Well, you caught me. Take me away, officer. But don't forget to throw away the key. <laughs> you heard me. Wait, really? Just like that? Sure, but uh, do you even know how to? Well, I... <laughs> don't lose steam now. You're on a roll with that righteous act. Here, let me help you. <laughs> it does sound like Ganon and Legend of Neil. Oh, and Luna? Huh? Maybe we'll see each other again. Oh, I'm sure we will. What? Yep. Welcome back, ES88. So does this mean the psychic anomaly is gone? I think so. I'll send you our contact information. Please, reach out if anything else comes up. Thanks. So what happened next? Did you... Did you go and fight the corrupt BB doctors together? He's huge! I bet you two could really wreck their operation! Slow down, ES-88. It was such a rush! Well, fortunately, you stopped before everything went downhill. Huh? 
I discussed everything with Carter. He had my back. We let Crow slip away with the parts in exchange for intel on the Market BB doctors. When we got back, the chief was livid. He took our intel and knocked us off the case. NSFPD never moved forward on it, though, as far as I know. After that, Carter and I were stuck working rookie cases. Like what? Like, uh... Oh, one time, we were assigned to the great mystery of the vandalized Froyo stand. A few days before I left, I got wrapped up in a case involving that big-time mega-corporation, Parallax. The events of the last game? It ruined my relationship with the NSFPD. From then on, I've always doubted what justice meant to them. You're better off for sure. You seem way better off now. How's the private eye business? I have a tight budget, which means living out of my office. But the trade-off is I have more freedom to pursue real justice, and that makes all of this worth it. Anyway, thanks for clearing my mind of all that. I'm glad I don't have to keep wondering, but... Time to never think about that memory again. <laughs> well, I'm glad I was able to help. But now I'm left with more questions. Why don't I remember you? If everything's in order, I think it's about time we head out. Have a good day, Detective Rivers. You too. Oh, and good luck out there, Psychic Detective ES88. God, I love the motorcycle with the sidecar so much. Neurodiver. Neurodiver. Okay, I'll take the Neurodiver to Trace for analysis. That would be incredible, Alicia. And maybe snag a brownie from the commons. Oh, Gates getting a brownie instead of pellets? Nice. Ooh, no nutritional tablets. How adventurous. <laughs> it's the end of the day. I can unwind a little. I'll head to Fortuna's office for a debrief. Great. We'll meet back here afterwards. Sure thing. All right, I'm actually going to call it here for the night. I think this is a good spot to stop before we get further into a new chapter. Um, I am planning to play this entire game on stream, I believe, because uh, it's it's a fun, cozy little stream game, I think. So um, I'll probably be back playing this next Friday. 